culvert is a reinforced concrete box that essentially brings water or a material from point A to point B and that's what the black staff culvert currently is. It's an existing two metre by four metre box that carries material from around three and a half thousand hectares of land behind us that stretch from the Crumlin Road all the way to the Malone Road and back into the Belfast Hills. The contractor has spent a lot amount of time obviously designing and looking at the diversion and the route for the culvert so it's actually been done to not disrupt the existing bus operations on site and actually passengers whenever they're driving past the site will be able to look inside the culvert and actually see the construction work going on. being done for a number of reasons. The first one of those is the levels. Currently the existing culvert interferes with the design of the new railway and the new bus yard and the new building. So we're taking out a section of around 360 metres of that box culvert. Second reason is the hard surfaces that we then create by building the transport hub itself. All of that when it rains obviously creates water and a runoff and we don't want to flood the area. So the new culvert has been designed to carry that water away. The third reason is to ensure that there's no flood risk to the transport hub itself or the surrounding area. It's been designed for a 1 in 100 year flood and it's also designed for a design life of 120 years. Health and safety is the number one priority for TransLink and all of our contractors and supply chain. It's important for us as well as a lead client and a lead public client in Northern Ireland to set that standard. Creating the habit of a safe safety culture right across the site is important for not only our current contractor Graham Construction, our main works contractor whenever they're appointed, but also our operational colleagues as well within the TransLink operating business. Our reputation depends on high quality infrastructure being delivered in a safe manner and we want to ensure that we withhold the reputation that TransLink is now set for this project and for Belfast and Northern Ireland in the construction industry.